We are here in Everett, Washington this morning. That's about 45 minutes north of Seattle. My name's Josh Green. I'm one of the video guys here at Boeing, and we are in front of the all-new GE9X engine. Our teams recently installed it on our first 777X flight test airplane. In just a moment, you see these guys down here. Uh, GE is going to join us right here on Instagram Live. Hey, guys, we'll get to you in just a second. You're going to tell us more about the engine and uh, what goes into testing a new engine. Uh, but if, for you guys on Instagram, the, what, like 3,000 at this point, if you've joined our broadcast before, you already know that the 777X is Boeing's newest family of twin-aisle airplanes. This really is an incredible airplane that passengers are going to love flying on. Our customers are excited about the fuel efficiency benefits as well. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see this baby behind me. The airplane provides 12% lower fuel consumption and 10% lower operating costs than the competition. The engine is a key contributor to what makes the 777X the largest and most efficient twin engine jet in the world. The GE9X is designed specifically for the 777X, and its front fan is the largest, the largest ever produced for a commercial engine. That's cool, right? A little bit of perspective for you. I'm going to walk back here. With the nacelle on this thing, I'm about six foot tall. This is wider than a 737 fuselage. That's pretty cool, right? The nacelle is the visible sections uh, that cover the engines that you, you probably see when you're on board the aircraft. Uh, I, I want to give a shout out to the Boeing teams that helped us get to this point. While GE builds these engines, you can find Boeing's fingerprints all over. Uh, there are a lot of Boeing engineers and mechanics who worked years to make this happen. Our propulsion teams in Puget Sound and South Carolina uh, led design of the nacelle and the actuation system. Boeing's engineering work also allows the engine to integrate with the airplane. That means uh, the work it takes to start the engines, for instance, uh, the things that make the fuel flow and even the designs of the mounts on the wing. Uh, we also design accessibility and maintainability of the components around the engine. And when engines arrive here in Everett, before we hang the engine onto the wing. Uh, the GE9X builds on proven architecture, architecture and performance at service entry. Let's talk to these guys at GE. Hey, John and Jay, good morning in California, right? Tell us a little bit about where you are and tell us about yourselves. Well, I'm, uh, my name is John Oman. I'm the chief test pilot for GE Aviation, and we are here at our flight test operation in Victorville, California, just outside of Los Angeles. I'm Jay Gwynn from GE9X Systems Engineering in Cincinnati, Ohio. Hey, guys. So um, let's start pretty simple. I have a question for you. So the GE9X uh, is an all-new engine designed specifically for the 777X back here, but you're testing it on a four-engine 747. Can you explain to us why you test the engine that way? Sure. We're actually sitting in front of that airplane. You can only see the GE9X behind us, but... Uh, we're sitting in front of uh, the airplane you mentioned, and we refer to it as our flying test bed, or our FTB. And it's a highly modified 747-400 that we use to do the in-flight developmental testing of all our uh, developmental commercial aircraft engines, to include the GE-9X. As a matter of fact, uh, just prior to putting the GE-9X on the wing of this airplane, we were doing testing on the, uh, the Leap 1B, which is on uh, Boeing 737 MAX. Um, it's, a, it's a great platform for engine testing. One, because when we put the uh, test engine on, we still have three production engines, uh, GE CF6s, and, and, and that provides uh, inherent redundancy to the aircraft and the aircraft systems with those three production engines. And when we have an engine this size with this much power uh, on the airplane, it helps to have those three production engines to counter uh, any asymmetric thrust that's produced by, uh, by this big engine when it's up at full power. Hey, guys, when, when you're up there, what are you testing for, and what kind of test do you do on an engine like this? Well, we do a, a wide variety of testing uh, in preparation for the eventual certification of an engine like this uh, on, a, on a Boeing airplane. Um, you mentioned earlier the, uh, the fuel efficiency of this new engine, so certainly a lot of the testing we do is devoted to 
uh, validating uh, our, our fuel efficiency. But there's a, there's a spectrum of other tests we do from systems, performance, operability, uh, controls, and, and transient testing. Uh, anywhere from things like uh, in-flight air starts, uh, uh, transient performance with respect to, to how the airplane or how the engine performs during bursts and chops of the throttle. Uh, the, most, uh, the most interesting uh, testing we do from a test pilot perspective is inlet compatibility, which is where we ensure, um, we ensure satisfactory operation of the engine under uh, more de demanding uh, flight environments, high angles of attack, uh, high side slip, uh, high aircraft rotation rates, and, and things like that. Jay, is there anything? Uh, you want to do? Nope. There really is <laughs> a a, uh, a design group or a discipline within GE and its partners around the world that doesn't look to what we're doing here in the California high depth to get. There's over 1,300 pieces of instrumentation on this engine and an additional 300 plus uh, specifically for Boeing. And so we have a follow up on John's testing for all these different groups uh, for certification, you know, certification data or validation of, of the performance, optimization of what we're getting out of this motor and then Boeing also will participate in quite a bit of the testing and we'll do testing specifically for Boeing. Yep. GE's been doing jet engine testing in the, the California high desert for as long as it's been jet, jet engines in America. And for all of us, too, it's, it's intense, it's complicated, and all the funnest, coolest things. So whether we're low over the desert floor or in the test range and uh, you know, here in Nevada mountains out one window and Death Valley out the other, it is a high point for anybody who's out there. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there right now who are jealous of you guys wanting your job. That's for sure. It's uh, Let's see, we have about 1,500 people on the live cast right now. Just to let you guys know, I'm Josh. Uh, I work for Boeing. I'm here in Everett, Washington. We're talking to John and Jay, who are in Victorville, California, speaking with us uh, with GE about the new GE 9X engine and the 777X. So we're talking about testing. Uh, can you guys, I'm sure a lot of this stuff happens in the air, right? But can you talk a little bit about the testing that you do on the ground there? Sure. So the, uh, you know, the testing started years ago. You know, we, you take the advanced technologies, you, you do component testing, you do rig testing, and you, you make parts and you put them in, in another GE product and you go off and you you run thousands of simulated flight cycles. You know, validate. You're going into the 9X testing itself with the proven technologies. Then, you know, we're testing in very rural Ohio, you know, southern Ohio, at Peebles. And we, there's a number of engines to run uh, durability, uh, operability, crosswind, bird, blade out. Uh, it's everything that we need to certify and ensure that we're we're ready for service. Uh, also, ISO test in Winnipeg, Canada, and uh, a core engine test, kind of the, just the middle of the engine in Evendale, Ohio. So it's it's been going on for years. Continues, you know, it's specific to the FTB. It's you know, we look to before we fly to you know, for both flight safety and mission readiness. We got sufficient durability demonstrations and controls and, and we're, we're ready to come out and have a very safe and efficient flight test campaign. That's awesome. Hey, I'm going to step out of the way again so folks can see this engine. Uh, you know, it's hard to ignore how big it is, but it's not just for show, right? I mean, the larger fan is a big part of what makes uh, this engine and the airplane for that instance so efficient. Uh, can you tell us more about that and how efficient they are? Well, John and I are test people, but I'll tell you from the design side, you stress efficiency. You know, it's it's all about how can we make the, it's, it's large, yeah, but you know, you take your advancements in analysis, 
materials and manufacturing for composites in this case. And you can make this very, very large fan with only 16 fan blades. And you couple that with the, the com compressor and combustor and turbine with advancements to make something that's very efficient. You know, you Thank mentioned you the size of, uh, of this engine, and in, in, that is one of the unique aspects of the testing we're doing. This is the largest engine, obviously, we've ever flown. And, uh, and we worked with our partners up there at Boeing to design a pylon to mount this engine on the wing uh, so that we can, we can put this uh, engine on the 747 with sufficient ground clearance to operate it. Uh, but it's, it's a unique challenge uh, to, to fly this uh, an engine this size on a 747. And, and uh, uh, we were only able to do so with the partnership we have with Boeing and, and working together to, uh, to do some engineering to, to make it work. Guys, it's going to be great to see this thing in use on the triple, uh, the, the triple seven X uh, and the triple seven X of rollout and uh, the first flight later this year. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments of our last at Boeing Instagram post or the last GE Aviation Instagram post. John and Jay from GE, thank you guys so much for joining us from Victorville, California. Uh, this is really cool. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. We enjoyed it too.